Judge has denied the dismissal or alteration of charges against two men accused in a hit and run trial or accident in April. That incident left two young women dead. Caitlin Ashbaugh joining us now in North Charleston. And Caitlin, what came out of today's preliminary hearing? Hey, Raphael. Well, today was more of a way for people to get on the same page about evidence, not as much based on determining guilt or innocence here. And the attorneys representing the victims' families, as well as Max Gentilin and Seth Carlson, the two suspects here, addressed the courtroom in an hours long preliminary hearing this morning. Gentilin and Carlson themselves did not attend. Investigators presented findings to the courtroom that determined both Lizzie Zito and Ariana Gamber died from blunt force traumas attributed to being hit twice on Morrison Drive. Gentilin faces two counts of leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death, while Carlson faces two counts of the same, plus two counts of reckless homicide. Both suspects' attorneys requested today a motion to either dismiss or alter those charges. They cited, quote, unclear probable cause related to autopsies or medical examiners in determining the deaths of Lizzie Zito or Ariana Gamber. That autopsy has still not been completed. The judge did deny their request, and after hours of questioning, family members left somber but embracing each other, saying they know the legal process is just the beginning. It's going to be a long war. Today is just a battle, and the motions were denied, which everything that's going on with the case should, and it did. So we're grateful for that. I want to rage, <laughs> really, and point fingers. And um, I'm just going to have to trust in this process, which is challenging. Well, because the judge did deny those motions, that means nothing has changed in terms of bond or the charges themselves. And I'm told that this was simply the first opportunity for a judge to dismiss those motions if they chose to do so. But a next court date has not yet been decided in this case. Reporting live in North Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.